they would be normally clambering around in these, these branches up high up of the trees. Dormice are thriving here in the Forest of Dean and now they have a new way of getting about. I just imagine dormice climbing up, the, up there, running along the bridge. Two rope bridges high up in the air replacing trees that were lost to ash dieback. Dormice bridges are normally put across main roads, you know, council roads where there's lots of cars to stop them getting squashed on the roads. So this is a, a little bit of an experiment here in that we're using it, a, sh a much shorter bridge, a much narrower bridge, but we're confident that the dormice will use it. Dormice have been monitored here for the last 20 years and with the species vulnerable to extinction, this is an important step to ensure their survival. If you isolate a population of dormice, eventually they will die out. You know, they won't be able to find their mates. They won't be able to find enough food in a, in a certain part of the woodland. But we know that there are still people in these woods in the evenings and in the early mornings. And we also have forest lorries coming up here, um, you know, work vehicles coming up here. So we just want to do everything we possibly can to help these creatures. So how many of these boxes have you got around here? Oh, 37, I think. Right. Dormice are just starting to come out of hibernation and the nest boxes here will be checked every month between now and October. So we can take the lid away. It's a bird's nest. Ah, OK. So the birds have moved into this one, but logging the dormice in the boxes will be key to seeing how successful the new rope bridges will be. So you have to be licensed to do these surveys. You can't just go up and open up a box. So we'll see if having those trees fouls but putting the bridges up, what impact that will have on the population. Do they stay the same? Do they go down? Do we get more? They'll cling on to that, no problem at all. The bridges were really blowing around in the wind today, but Kate says the dormice are agile acrobats and they'll have no problem. They normally live in the canopy of the trees. So if you look up in the, in the canopy of the trees, they're really little twigs and a dormouse is very happy, um, you know, running around in, 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 on twigs. They've got incredibly agile feet in that they've got prehensile feet and the special pads on their feet that enable them to move their, their feet around and grip really well on these tiny little twigs. So these bridges will be fine for them. So a new transport network for the humble dormice, ensuring they can get from A to B, or rather tree to tree, in safety. Steve Nibbs, BBC Points West, in the Forest of Dean.